Hello and how are you? My name is Mohind Umbar and welcome you to another episode of creating a complete um, uh, marketplace uh, system. Uh, so I'm going to proceed from where I stopped at the previous lecture. As you know, always do 40 minutes. So I'll go ahead and start our timer. Now let's proceed to our project. Uh, in the previous lecture, we got stuck. At this level of uploading a uh, product when we are trying to upload the product we could get an error we could get an error so we could get an error we could get an error we could get an error so we want to begin from there on this logic of uploading product okay so let's go ahead and face it face by face all right so let's go ahead and look for upload image upload image okay so an upload image if it is streaming properly here so on upload image we shall uh, simply come to upload image here we are so come here to this function of uploading image and then here we have um, images we are looping through images we get the images to upload have again the image to upload then we do the upload self logic okay upload self logic here okay yeah, this is the logic why you're doing that upload self logic all right so uh we check if the image is existing the path is existing all those things we check them after making sure that they are okay um we go ahead and do what you go ahead and now do the logic of uh, compressing the image after compressing the image you go ahead and uh, start um uploading the image okay so here we're just getting everything that is coming from the server and then we put it in the console and then return at this point so what you're going to do you're going to go to where we're uploading the image which is image uploading to that endpoint and see what is causing the problem so i'll come to the api which is here market link and then i'll come to the api and then search for the image uploading so i'll go back here the image here so let me just here return success and say um let me just die here and say time to upload image okay so let me just die here and say time to upload image all right so there you go so i'll come back now to our to our what to our ht post so i'll come here to the ht post itself press control and click on it then here i want to see what has just come back and see if everything is fine so we do all these processes now here on success i just put the data in the console and on fail i just put the error in the console so let's go ahead and uh, and upload so upload search so process so it has finished so you see you have error so you have error so it is bringing back the error so let's see what is the error saying the error is saying uh an exception was thrown and uh, i think this is due to maybe um when the endpoint does not exist so you see 500 there's some really real error so it does not even reach there All right so let's first see the ap the link that we're actually visiting uh that's how we can debug so let's come here and copy this and then put this one in console and see link that we're actually visiting so that's how you debug things so let me put here and see if the link is really correct so i just get whatever i'm putting in this post i want to put in the also see if the link is okay so i remove everything and then go ahead and say upload so you can see our link is this one here this is the uh, the link so you see the problem here we're having the word api two times okay we're having the api two times so it has to be one time okay so i have to come back here to self uploading image uploading have to remove this word api because the endpoint is already adding it for us all right so let me clear everything now let me go ahead and uh, submit again upload image so you process so you see that the response time to upload has come successfully so the response is now clean uh let me remove this now let's go ahead and go back to our project so if the problem has been the link let me now remove this and we see if it will return this word file successfully uploaded if it will return it properly uh let's go ahead and submit again set process and then see the response is clean file uploaded successfully 
so let's go ahead and remove now this one as well i just put this one in the previous lecture to test i save let's go ahead and upload again so upload so you see image has been uploaded successfully and even the image information has come you see the image thumbnail everything has come properly so if we come to our project we come to the images uh so you come to public you come to storage you come to image you can see this is the image that we just uploaded you see it has been uploaded and it is well what it is well um how should i say it it is well what it is well uh cropped i mean it is well compressed that's what i can say it's well compressed everything is fine right now all right everything is fine so that is very good now that the image is well uploaded there that is very nice see that the image is uploaded uh successfully all right so we can proceed i think now we can proceed to another thing now we can proceed so since the image has been uploaded successfully uh since the image has been uploaded successfully i can now come and remove these other things that we are just putting for testing so i can just come and remove this one here the response things now we know that the image is being uploaded successfully let me come here to the http utils i mean to utils and i just comment i'll just comment these we shall only be putting displaying these things in the console only when we need them go ahead and comment this one as well so after doing so um now let's go back to the the image local and then i'll go ahead and just check the code if the code is not one i'll know that something wasn't right so i'll go ahead and say if code is not equal to one if code is not equal to one then i'll just say uh failed so i just simply say status equals to fail and then i say um i think go ahead and say uh upload status details and put the message that has come from online and then i save it and then i return the message that is when it fails totally right uh so in other words i'll go ahead and say if it if it successfully passes through the, if the code is one then i'll know that it has uploaded successfully okay i'll know that it has uploaded successfully right i can even be able to get this online uh id so since we are returning here the the image right so that is okay so if it passes here just know that it has successfully uploaded so after doing so i'll go ahead and uh, do what and save it so i can now go and and, and say now status so if it passes here i'll go and say status equals to uploaded and then the message i can put store the message there and then i put i save and then i return empty so I return empty when it is successful so i know now it has uploaded successfully and then we shall not upload this one here again all right so that's it so let's go back now to our image uploading screen here see the logic we are getting the image to upload after getting the image to upload we go ahead and do what we go ahead and uh, we go ahead and uh, we go ahead and upload it if it is not there then you just say upload it successfully if it returns nothing okay if it returns nothing all right so that's how we did it okay and then we look through these images all right so if there is no image to upload if the if the ids the, the the local path is is nothing i say all images have been uploaded all right so we know had a, a couple of image that was selected let's go ahead and upload the next so you click upload the next you see time to upload let me remove that thing of time to upload you see upload it successfully or use this thing of upload you can remove this one so time to upload i can remove it so let me go ahead and say upload image again so you see upload it successfully again let me upload another one if it was there all images have been uploaded so all the image have been uploaded uh so <laughs> the code has been i don't know i can show it to you but you can go step by step i believe you'll be able to achieve this so if you do image do all images do upload images and uh, that's how i've been doing it all right so that is our upload images upload image let me just can you stay top and then say image uploading screen image uploading screen okay that's what i just did the demonstration from 
All right, now let's go now back to the product category creation. So we come back now here to the stock item or product category creation. So we come here to creating new product. So let me go back to creating new stock item. New stock item. I can just simply say new stock item. I hope it is here let me try to change here some more and see if it's the one all right it's the one so like i said new, new product okay pretty new product all right so uh, now we're on this page okay we're on this page now we're going to put whatever we're being doing the other side we're going to put it here um all right so first things first uh first things first uh when someone comes in here i want to lock them here so that they should not be able to proceed before they do something all right, so let's begin. Uh, first of all, I want someone to always send the stock item model. Of course, they're always sending it. It is here. Stock item model. Uh, so this stock item model, what is lacking? It is lock ID. Let me see if it is there. Uh, local ID, it is not there. So that is something that we need to uniquely identify. Or maybe you can... Okay, let's create a second model. This second model of, uh, pro of stock item, it is going to be the one that we shall be using to add a product, okay? So this stock creates screen. In fact, for it, we shall just be receiving a local model for creating a product. So that when you're starting creating a new product, we you can even, you should be able to create it even when you're what? When you're totally offline, okay? It's going to look just like this stock model item, okay? But for it, it's going to be the local one, all right? Stock item local model something like that you can put i can add that look so i'm going to create a local one and in that local one so we're going to add the um, the uh, local id something like that right so even the online one we also need a local id so let's go ahead and uh, add the local ID to this stock item model so let's do that so i'll come to our project i'll come to our project and then i'll first look for important so press control p and type in control and p and then type in important commands you can even find it here in the bottom this is our web portal our web project so come here to important commands so in here we're going to to get the what we're going to get the table of stock items so let me come to the project and then go ahead say to localhost and then uh, let's look at dot inf here and determine determine which database we are using we are using here market link so i'll come to market link project which is this one here and then i'll search for the table called uh stock items this one here so these stock items this is the table that we want all right so stock items uh, i'll go ahead i'll go ahead and uh, stock items i'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and stock items. I'll go ahead and uh, do what? I'll go ahead and uh, get its name, stock items. Okay, so we're going to add there one column called local ID. All right, and then upload status and then upload status message. That's what we're going to add. Those three columns that we're going to add there. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll come here to important commands and then I'll come here and say PHP artisan, PHP artisan, um, php artisan make migration and then you say maybe add add local local can I just say local things maybe uh local id or whatever to and then you specify the table that you want to add to so that's how i specify it okay that's how i specify it uh so after doing so i'll copy this i'll copy this and then i open the terminal and then put PHP artisan make migration, add local things, and then I put dash dash table, and then I push stock items. So when you press enter, you see it has been created. Then if I press control and here, press control and here, and on this file, you see the migration is here. It has been created stock items. So I'm going to just go ahead and say uh, table, uh, table, and then I put text, and then go ahead and put local ID, okay, and make it nullable and then maybe upload status upload underscore status sorry it's going to be text and make it 
upload underscore status upload what upload status and then maybe upload message so there are the three, two three things that i've added to our stock items what stock items uh a model so let me go ahead and migrate so i'll go ahead and migrate this php artisan php artisan migrate so there you go that's the migration so after having that i'm going to go ahead and say and click on this so i've migrated it anyway i've migrated it so i'm going to create a generator so we're going to create a generator so i'll come here to uh gen let me just come here to menu and, and modify this from gens to gen i think the gen that is working so i'll come to our generator code generator and then i'll come here and add uh stock item local model stock item local model it is going to be fetching from um, stock stock items then be fetching from stock items and um All right, stock items and then it's going to have an endpoint just put this all right so there we go so this is the model let's go ahead and generate it press here and then you'll have the model generated so after having the model generated what we're going to do now i'm going to create a class with this so i'll come here and then come and uh, create a, a class i'll come to a project uh, project which is this one here and then i go ahead and class come to the models come to the models come to the models where are the models um lib model so i'm going to create now this new file and then i put model dot that so after doing so i'll go ahead and copy all things here i'll copy them and come and paste them here so i copy them what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove online things since this one is uh, all offline thing. So I'll go ahead and collapse this one. So first things first, make sure that you remove the endpoint. So it's going to be offline. And also make sure that you don't conflict the tables. So I have to put here the word uh, local, for example, local. So that it should not conflict with the online one. Uh, Alright, so after doing so, I'll go ahead and... Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, do what? I'll go ahead and remove this get online uh, get online uh, method i'll collapse it and remove it and then after i'll go ahead and remove this get online things i just get to get it to just get the items that are local and then you send all right or so maybe i need here to add uh, where okay where i've been forgetting it now api i think you should just go ahead and add it because we're going to keep making the same mistakes so let me go to our gen so come to the project and come to the gen and come to see where there is um uh where there is where 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 get items here get items make sure that you pass here get local items and put the where if it is there put also the where there uh, get i uh, know here on the local item get local items make sure that you get local items it is having the where all right yep 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 okay that's okay uh that's okay now uh that's okay uh let's come back to our project uh, so make sure that you did that step but otherwise if you don't do this step in the gen then it means that in future you'll face challenges i've just come to a gen file in under model and then i've looked where where there is get local items i've added this where all right so uh the next step is uh the next step we have created the the model okay the model uh -huh. so we need this id to be auto incrementing or incrementing or okay, that maybe we might need an online id and online id online id maybe we'll need it let us add it there so before you run it if you run it you can make this one to be two but you need an online id for uniquely identify this product maybe when we are editing so let me go ahead and put here um 
online ID since uh, it is always integer, so I can just simply go ahead and say online ID. Okay, so that will be like in case you have an if in case the product is from online. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this and then come and add it everywhere. Add it in here in the from JSON and then also come and add it in your um, uh, create so make it online id it's an integer and has a comma here all right it's an integer and has a comma there uh all right so uh what next um all right so what next uh we also get this online id see how i hope you're seeing how i'm adding it after adding it in the create command also add it here in that json so this one since it is a uh, local since it is a local we're going to do just like we already did on the on the what on the on the local image if you still remember here in the local image we are going to make auto increment it okay so come here to where there is uh you see sorry local image with the local image local image model this one we have to auto increment the id okay so how to do the auto incrementation for the id so let's go ahead and uh, do what let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and um, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, come to the local store item and also come to to what to the table so you remember here i've not run it so if i've run it you have to include the table of, uh, name so here id integer primary key and then auto increment so it should be auto incrementing then you also come here in the bottom and make sure if the id is not set we don't include it okay we remove it on the to json okay uh so you can just simply as well do it in this way you can just simply say it is map and then say uh map comma dynamic all right i mean sorry string dynamic and then equals to i can say maybe data equals to that so i cut this id i remove the id i remove id from here so i come here to to json at its end at its end i check if if what if id is zero if id is not zero if id is zero i remove it all right i can just say if id is not is not zero okay if id is not zero i go ahead and add it like that so if id is not zero i just press go ahead and say data and then say id and then i pass that id then i come here at the end i return that data so that's how i return the data all right so um yeah i think that's fine now i think that's fine that is very fine that is very fine so i have you out to json and we're returning as we planned all right so that is fine so after doing so now we can proceed that is our local uh, model so make sure that it is as it as you see it here all right all right hope you're okay now hope we are together i hope we are together all right, together. All right so after doing so after doing so let's proceed i'm doing so so i'm going to go back now to the uh create screen so you press ctrl and then tab key ctrl shift tab key to go back ctrl tab to go in front so i'll go to the uh to the create screen so here i'm going to expect what i'm going to expect uh, i'm going to expect um i'm going to expect uh, a a stock item local model so i'll change the other one that was there i put stock item local model that's the one that i put there all right so after doing that um so here we had dummy things what and what let me so here we had get uh local whatever this and it is having a method of get local local photo local model ah which, which class is this again 
all right if i've created another i'm called image local mode i think it's just a conflict all right so let's fix this let's fix this together uh so add dummy images this dummy images let's just remove it you don't need it for now we're going to read ourselves all right so um i'll go ahead and remove this add dummy images let me remove that one out let me go ahead and uh, and uh, remove local images okay local images will need it uh so it's going to be a uh, what a list of images for the local item so so i'll get this local images and then i come and add it <coughs> i come and add it on the stock local model come to the stock local model go ahead and create a variable of list of image model local this is the one that you are going to be using image model local and then make it to be an empty for beginning just make it empty thing for the beginning so uh come and fix the rest here and this, so instead of having this one going to have uh going to have image local model like this, image local model like that uh so here have um local path that's the one that shall be displaying yeah so everything is fine now everything is fine now all right so after doing so after doing so i'm going to go ahead and get stock uh create screen this stock create screen i'm going to go ahead and uh, add it here all right all right here okay so here are the errors so instead of having this i'm going to put stock screen so i can just simply uh remove it so here it's not sending the right when you're editing let's first remove it and also come to this one and also uh just disable it for the beginning and we save uh we go back all right there yeah there you go so i save everything is now fine now when you come here to stock items I click on a plus it is not doing anything why because i'm not put there a logic of adding now an item so before we proceed i want to uh, make sure that you always have a local item because to edit at least you should be able to know that it is an edit logic or something like that so you should always have a local id okay so i'll go ahead and uh, i'll go ahead and uh, go i'll go ahead and uh, come here to stock item stock item stock item so let's go ahead and go to the stock item create screen stock item create screen so we go to the init state here in the init state we're going just to first check if the id is zero if the id is zero let's make this one maybe online id if it's on zero all right so if the id so i've just changed this one i'll explain why just tell whether it is editing or adding so i'm going to check if the local id is not there i'll just return we shall not proceed if the local id is not there in the init state here so i'll go ahead and put the condition and say if the widget and say local id dot length our id will know it will always be more than five characters dot length is less than five i can just simply say utils and say invalid um id and then i return i i go ahead and and pop and return make sure that you return it's not go beyond here so in case the id is not set i'll just go back i'll just go back without wasting much time all right so that is it so if it is less than five just know that it is it is a it's not a right product all right so let's go ahead and uh, proceed now let's go ahead and uh, and proceed so we come back to now uh to the stock item create screen i mean stock items here so i want when i click on this plus button here in the stock items it should take me to the uh create screen okay it should take me to the create screen so how do you do that i'll just simply come in and uh, and comment this one get those two so create item so since it is creating i now have to create the model i mean i have to create the instance of stock item okay so i'll go ahead and create stock item i can say maybe new item equals to uh equals to this new one 
and then I import it. Remember, it is a stock local item. So when we buy editing online, shall be first getting a local item or a local version of that one. So I'll go ahead and pass it here. I'll pass it here. But you will get you will see something's going to happen. So I'm passing it here, right? So everything is fine now. When I click on uh, add, you see, um, I'm I'm supposed to get here uh, a message that says uh, that says that uh, an item does not exist. Okay, let's go ahead and show you here that the ID is not does not exist. Only our toast maybe is not working today. Okay? but here you can see. Let me put here print and say. Let me just invalid ID so at least we should be able to see that. Alright, so the local ID is invalid. Okay, so I click on the plus. You see, invalid local ID. Only that our toast is not working. We shall find out why. Alright, so the ID is not why the ID is not there. Why? Because we have not. It is a new product and the local ID is not there. So it should be our concern. See that when you click on the on the plus, we just go ahead and create a what a new product. Okay. So we go ahead and say new item, new item, and then we go ahead and say dot local ID equals to. Uh, remember, I have our utils that get for us get local ID or generate unique. We call it unique. Get unique. Okay, this it will get for us some unique value that is being generated from the current timestamp. Then it attaches a random value again. It attaches another random value. We can even attach the third one to make sure that this thing is actually unique. So it is having three random values that are ranging in millions, okay, in millions, and it has even that particular timestamp. It is almost impossible to get these three random values that are the same at the same time in the same particular second. That is impossible. It's almost impossible let's say it's impossible to get three random values that are the same in the same particular second it is impossible so let is let so this will be getting for us a unique local id so this unique local id i will go ahead and uh, so it will it will be like up to us to say that okay as soon as you click the create uh, the create uh, button as soon as you click the create button we should go ahead and save that one as a, a local what as a local product i mean as as a local item stock item we can decide to do that according to what we want okay if if we if we if we don't want we can just uh keep it we can maybe say it maybe add a name then we can be able to save it something like that let me just be making saving it immediately after You've create you pressed it. So I just simply say await dot save to avoid loss of data. So I'll go ahead and save. And then after I make this person to proceed to create screen. Right. So after doing so, I'll I will go ahead and now and click on this plus. So it will know it will create this lock ID lock ID, save and then let this person proceed to here. So um uh, let's go ahead and click on the plus. So you see, it has proceeded there uh, properly. So if I come here to create, I can even be able to see our local ID uh, anywhere that I want. So let's, 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 for example, come here to our um, this column and just dis simply display text and then I display dot local ID. Oh, sorry, it's widget, widget dot item dot local id you'll see that is our local id something that is really unique really really unique okay you can't have the same thing again you cannot have it all right so uh now uh, now uh, now we go now to uploading the images okay uh selecting the images all right so i'm going to put uh so i want to see if i can add here a button for select image or add image okay okay so let's see if we can add it there so you see here there is no image selected uh 
I want to see if I can give this column, you see, this is a column of uh, category photo, uh, category photo, all right, this is not there, all right, so there is a place where there is no image selected, I want to see if I can touch that, no image selected, it is there, all right, so it is in here, uh, it is an option to not image selected. All right, uh, let me see how I can approach that one. Mm -hmm. So, no image selected. I want to put there now select image button. So, here I have a container, it is an option to. item image is empty all right all right so i think we can uh, we, we had our list there horizontal list this list builder you're right this is the no image select that was meaning this one all right no image selected all right list images local list images this one here i wanted to see if we can um, creatively uh, add there a, a button okay we can creatively add there a button so all right if i come here and uh, so this one will show only when it is empty this one will show when there is uh, some value okay uh so what i want to do here i want to all right let, we can do it from top there where we are calling it this one here you see, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap it into row, into a row. All right, so I'm going to wrap it into a row, these local images, and then come and put your children. I want to be just a little bit creative, like this. All right, so that row is like that. Uh, so this I want to give it uh, expanded I want to give it I want to give it expanded so let us make it give it this thing is not it's just suggesting things for me I don't know why or at least go ahead okay I think this one because not promising a widget yeah that's why let's make it promise a widget all right so let's give it um expanded all right so it is centered and then here i'm going to put another expanded maybe okay i can put just a container so this is a fx a flutter flutter x uh, flutter x package okay so fl flut x package you can find it here i've already added it in a project you can find it here flut x package just go ahead and search for flut x flat x or flut x and then say flutter so this package it will help you to it will help you to it is a very powerful package to help you to design user interfaces with uh, simplicity so go ahead and uh, put it in your project. For me, I've already put it. It is called Flat X. I've already put in this project of ours. Okay. So if I want a container, I can just simply do the FX container, and then you'll see things that you shall be doing with it. So it is very important package. You can use it in even in your different projects. All right. Remaining in one minute. Let's see how I can save this minute at least to finish this. So I put your flute text. Uh, so you know it is next to this one now. If I save this one, you see our flute text there. All right, so I want to put here uh, a width of what? Of 100 and a height of 100. So there it is. And mm -hmm. now I'm going to give it a, a border. So you just simply say border and say like this. And then say bordered and then say true. Okay. So there it is. See? There it is. So I'm going to give it a... a a child i mean padding gold and say color white so i give it a child 
uh, so child i'm going to put there an icon of adding okay so i put an icon and say unlock images <laughs> okay let me explain this step by step so the, this is just a simple container i'm giving it a child i'm going to give it a, a column and then come here and give it children and then i'm going to put here uh icon so i put icon and say camera okay say maybe let's see to have camera add. okay so let's see if you can have an add like this maybe yeah uh, something like that can give it color of primary uh-huh then you can make a maybe all right so i uh, sorry about that so i'll come here and um uh so add photo i can also make this to be primary i can make it black and maybe i can give it um width of two all right so there you go so there you go there we go there we go now i want to add here the word so this root x it has text so i can just simply say fx text and then you say dot what dot uh, body small so you just simply say add photo now so you have there add photo so i can put here maybe some size the height of five and uh, add photo like this add photo yeah something like that all right so yeah that's okay uh that's okay i think that's fine that's fine that's fine yeah that's fine you can see how i've approached it uh so i want now when someone click here you should be able now to launch our camera picker okay when someone clicks here you should be able not to launch the image picker all right so to do so i'm going to show this this uh fx it has a con it has a click listener you can either surround the one or you can just simply put here on top okay so on top it will enable us to add an image all right then i click here you see it is launching this but i don't need this i want just to be able to i uh, have something like this select image it show this photo model okay i want to show this so let's go ahead and uh, borrow from what you have here. Uh, so I want to show that. So I'll come here. I'll go and search for select select image. All right, select image. Uh, so it is just a bottom sheet. Show image pick a bottom sheet. We already have it in the project that I shared with you. So go ahead and copy this one. So now we're going to add on the other side. So I'll come back to our create screen, and then we just simply put here uh, show. Just simply put, call. <laughs> Let's just first get the name. We call it here like this. So we create it. Create this method. Alt and alt and. Uh, okay let's we already have it i think we already have it here in this screen all right we already have this in this screen okay only that let me remove this context i know this context i don't need it for sure all right so we already have it we already have it in this screen or if you don't have it you can go ahead and copy it and put it in this screen of adding product this screen okay only that we shall now need to change its logic since now having many images okay so there you go now if you click there if you click there it shows select image so we have select image from select image from let me make this one a little bit better so i can just simply come and make this one a list tile so i'll give it uh camera at first okay so let me remove this one so i said duplicate from camera 
okay we i already shared this code with you so this is just a list tile so if i click on this we have the pick from camera only that uh, i need to give it um let me say let me give it a what an icon a leading of what or a camera icon all right so i give this list style a leading of what of camera icon so i remove this height and also put another list style of pick from what pick from gallery so it's just the same thing only that the in the click listener i hope just so that that one will look much more cleaner so if i come and click on this pick from camera use gallery so i can make this list i can make this list uh, uh, let me see just like this now i can make this list a little bit uh so i can just click and say fx fx dot title large that's one will make this one a little bit bigger word and make it uh, color black yeah let me do the same here title is fx yeah like that so let's see how it gets here what we've got and then i can say is dense and make it true and also come here and make it dense make it drop just like when the user interface look much more cleaner and come and make it maybe here let's see if we, the divider will work for us uh, you see uh, so let's maybe come here and say uh, use camera and say here maybe pick from gallery pick from gallery so click there use camera pick from gallery all right so maybe i can this type is too huge i can say maybe uh for the medium for the medium all right we can go with that let me see on top here i can just make 10 so we have something beautiful like that so body large let's see body large how it look like body large and here body large all right this is just a user interface thing uh, we don't need to waste much of our time there so i think that one looks much more uh use camera or pick from gallery all right i think that is much more better compared to what we had okay so um use camera pick from gallery okay so there you go there you go now we're going to begin uh do pick so it picks and um after so let's say we are using camera let's begin with camera so the pick from camera there i go we have to launch using camera the big source coming uh the pick you have the pick and then source i will not put like the logic okay i'll just have do pick okay so do pick let's see if we had put this logic on this image select do pick i think i'd put already the logic here so i'm going to just copy this logic this here and put the other side okay and put the other side all right so i'll just simply come here do pick and replace it with this so i'm going to explain here how we're going to approach this okay so we shall come here to do pick uh so since you're going to have like many images okay so here in case you're using camera image path let me remove this compress to get remove all that image path we're going to remove all this image path let's remove all that um mm -hmm. so this x file we import it alt and enter uh to import it uh picker we can define it so let me go ahead and define our picker here so I'll just copy this and come and put it here and define it on top here you define the picker like that mm -hmm. if it is picking from camera we just go ahead and say the pick from camera once it returns it so we have here our image path okay so we want to add this image now to our what to our local things all right so before we add it let's first also let's look at the gallery so the gallery we want it to be able to pick multiple photos to have ability to pick multiple photos let's begin with camera and then we come to gallery all right so um camera let me first comment this of gallery and then first so that of camera so here we've got the image path okay so it is here so what you're going to do we are going to create this image you're going to create the image from here i don't know that you'll create it 
in one place or we should create it um we should add it in different places i don't know which one i should use uh um let me see let me see let me see mm. let us uh, create a method that will be adding image okay so let's create it here let's create it here in the bottom we can call it maybe add add local image all right so going to have a future of void and then it's going to be having a synchronous so it will be getting the path okay string img path like this okay all right so first of all it will check if this file exists uh file exists so it will check if it exists does not exist it just returns okay and then if it exists it will go ahead and check if if um the item has the local uh widget has the what the local path if it doesn't have local path i just return you cannot add you can okay let me if item widget if item dot i mean sorry dot dot local id if it does not have the local id it will not proceed that length say so anyway this is just automatically get and for all right so if we pass this, those two steps i'll go ahead and say new image let's go ahead and get uh all the parameters that we want uh so we had already done something like this so i can just come to this where we're testing from and uh, do just what we did here all right so let me go ahead and copy all these and uh, paste them here I, you can follow them step by step so so uh, img so here img is go to that local path go to that and then i go ahead and get the unique id so unique id so the local path is going to be utils dot dot what dot get unique id like this all right so the local that is our local id okay that is our local id for this image then after doing so i'll go ahead and get the parent local id the parent local id so this one is going to be now don't make sure that you refresh now the one of this particular product which is under widget item and then the local id uh, online id so if this one has an online id we can also as well go ahead and put the online id so remember we have online id put to string like this so for this particular section it is a product so put type product and then the local path we go ahead and put the path that has come here which is the img path here and then we go ahead and make the status pending and then we save and then we return so it is asynchronous so this is how we shall be adding images in the same place so let's go ahead and here after the image has been picked from the camera so we go ahead and say await await and then we call add image and then we add this part then after doing so after adding the image now we can go ahead and uh, maybe and uh, maybe a uh, quit uh, you go ahead and uh, um we go ahead and get the local images of this particular we item so we get that item that get get what get what get um, get local uh, local images so let's go ahead and create here on this item uh let's go ahead and create for it uh a, a, a logic that we shall be using to get the local images okay so again put here list dot image model and then say dot get local images okay so this could dot get local images get images get local images it will be getting the local images from the database so if you want to get the local image from the database to just simply say uh local images we first make them empty and then say local images equals to await get await sorry so it's going to be also future 
like this asynchronous all right so then you go ahead and say equals to await then you say get images that get local image local items where parent local id remember this is the one that you use to look to uniquely identify this one where parent local id equals to the local id of this uh stock item okay then after finishing so uh, wait so you don't need to define it here we just use the one that is we don't need to redefine it we just use the one that we have in the object itself so we get the local ids and then we return the local ids okay so that's what shall be needing to do here so let's go ahead and come here back to the create screen back the create screen so we go ahead and say get local images so it is futuristic so i have to wait for it and then after getting the local images i just say set okay set so uh set status maybe after here i call now the do upload do upload uh do upload what do upload the process that thing that you see that we create the other side we are going to recreate it here to in order to understand it again so let me just call let me make it um uh future void and maybe say do upload and make it uh uh just like this let me just like this do upload it will be like that all right that is do upload so that is do upload for us do upload so we shall be calling it we shall put the logic later so and so like this you should be able to get for us the images add it add it to the storage of this which is the method you have just created here and then get the images and then update the status and then do upload so there yeah, that's it so let's save let's save uh let's save so let me come back on top here um so here instead of having image path we don't need to do that we're just going to say item so it's going to be it's going to be widget So this was for the case when we are doing uh, a product with one image let's remove this we don't need this one now this one is is when you're doing the product with one image let's remove all these we don't need them all right yeah um we don't need these ones all right so we don't need these ones image path we don't need it we don't need those ones right so yeah there we go there we go so i save i save come and click add image pick from camera i take let me make a camera maybe square camera all right i can change let me take so when i say yes boom you see the image has come you see the image has come i go ahead and add another one use camera the image also comes here so those are the images here and you see they are next to this one all right so maybe our images we can make them much more smaller so you see everything is beautiful now okay so let's uh, make it a little bit beautiful uh, so add photo this one can make it a little bit much more bolder so someone can not say that i do not see it make it really black and then make it um font size i mean for weight see the advantage of flu text you don't need to to define style all right so let's go ahead and the design this so we have here list of images which is horizontal let me go ahead and uh, reduce here the height uh, we can make it maybe of uh, 85 and the width 85 okay uh, 85 is too small can make it maybe 95 and 95 uh, yeah 95 95 um, all right so after doing so after doing so 
I'll go ahead and make them center. Can I center them? Okay. I think that is fine. I can maybe 97 on 97. I don't want I just want them to look much more uniform. 97, 97. I'll go ahead and uh, come to add photo. I can go ahead and come in before expand. Can go ahead and put width of 10, something like that. So these are the photos, okay? These are the photos. Can go ahead and remove this uh, testing link. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I think that's beautiful. Um, maybe we can go ahead and put there the title. Someone should know that these are the product photos. So let's come and put um fx text and say um, add product images oh my god i don't want it there <laughs> i want it on top here of this column yeah i want it on top here you can say product images Then you can put your some size the 15. There you go. So, uh -huh. so add product images. Uh -huh. So yeah, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Can I remove? Yes, I can remove. But they did not delete it actually. But it can remove. That's the main important thing. So I can add another one from camera. Right. So there you go. There we go. Okay, so after doing so, after doing so, uh, after doing so, let's uh, finish with the adding the one from gallery. Then tomorrow we'll begin from with uploading. Uh, add from gallery. So add from gallery. From gallery. So we come here, add from gallery. I'll uncomment this. And then we put here, it should enable multiple, multiple picker. Add from gallery. How do I enable multiple? This it, it multiple picker dot right. So supposed to be picker dot pick multiple. Yeah, that's how I do it. Uh, all right, let me come here. So just simply say picker dot the pick pick multiple and then in between uh so in between i check if the value is now not null i go ahead and look through this value so this value will bring a list of image parts or it will bring a list of images okay so I go ahead and add one by one. I wait to add. So I add one by one. After adding each of them, I go ahead and say I get the local items. Then I go ahead and say set status. And then I go ahead and say do upload. Okay. And then set status. I can remove this one. So that is how I pick from what? From gallery. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, see how we do that. So I come here, pick from gallery. Pick from gallery, pick from gallery, click there, I have my images. See, select, see, the images are there, the most latest are here in front. See, that is beautiful, that is beautiful. All right, let's begin from there in the next lecture. Let us begin from there in the next lecture, whereby we shall now uh, upload these images for on the online. Okay, that is beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. So, but nothing beautiful comes with simplicity. So, just know it is uh, hard work and uh, toiling in order to come up with something beautiful. So, we're going to work now on uploading these ones, then uploading the product and making them sync and then proceed. All right, that's it for today, guys. Unless uh, there's a question, but um, 
just know things are not simple you have to push and that's the price of uh, pushing is there any question is there anyone anyway so my world. hello yep maybe into yes, a yep mm. okay checho castole miracle is jacob of lunge 